it or not, we have reached number nine in our countdown of the 100 greatest video games of all time. And today, it is time for us to visit the land of rapture, my friend, to go under the sea at number nine. It's Bioshock from 2007. This was a landmark moment. Yes, it was. Ken Levine and his team at Irrational Games wanted to really bend our minds with this idea of an underwater city that has long since been devastated by one man's desire to be more than he was capable of being. I chose something different. I chose the impossible. And at the core of this experience, of course, is the relationship between the gigantic behemoth of the Big Daddy and the tiny little sisters yeah. that travel around the levels. If you threaten one of those little sisters, God help you. That's all I can say. You as a player have never been to a place like Rapture before, and in its entirety, that's why this game matters so much. All of these little beautiful set pieces and characters that Ken Levine and his team labored to create to build something unique and original and meaty and weighty and controversial, all of that sort of intertwined created this unbelievably cool fiction that is just almost too complex for the medium of video games in some ways. I mean, it's incredibly sophisticated. Yes. One of my favorite aspects of the game is the backstory, is all of yeah. the development that went into this thing. I mean, this thing went through umpteen per mutations before it finally became the Bioshock that we know and love. Is it someone new? I think that this world is so fully realized, so full of rich life and character and atmosphere and soul. Yeah. I mean, we always talk on the show about traveling through levels in video games. This isn't a level. No. You don't even remember that you're playing a video game in this thing. You are inhabiting this place well, at the very bottom of the Atlantic Ocean, and it is absolutely convincing. This is almost the great gag that Irrational kind of pulls on the industry because it really does have a lot of familiar elements to the game design, to the mechanics, to the core things that you do. It's a shooter at its heart, and you have these cool, almost supernatural-like augmentations, it's not these a very abilities. Good shooter. It's not, but that's how they got us. They got us in. All of us gamers, everybody that's familiar with the language of how to play video games, we could approach Bioshock with that level of understanding. But then what really resonates, what really hooks with this game is this incredibly rich, overwrought, complex, mature story that makes you feel weird. Light up foes to a thousand degrees. Warning. Fire spread. I love this game. So let's talk about Bioshock. It's out for the Xbox 360 and the PC. What'd you think of this amazing game? All right, here we go. So you just said it, amazing. Yeah. Look, look, you know, I've been reviewing games for a long time. You see a lot of repetitive product. Then something like this comes along and it makes you so glad you do what you do because it's so fresh. To me, it felt like sort of playing Half-Life again for the first time. Very good analogy. I really felt like this was, uh, you know, equivalent to the Half-Life experience. And I think one of the, the, the coolest things about this game, and I think something that a lot of people will kind of overlook, is the fact that it was written by a game developer. It wasn't outsourced to a Hollywood screenwriter. This is Ken Levine, and I'm sure he had lots and lots of help from his development team, kind of coming up with the concept, but coming up with a very mature and well-crafted story, which is voiced by excellent actors, and just the script around everything, just the ideas behind the, the concept here of this utopia had gone to pot. You know, basically everything has gone to hell and you have to survive it, man. It's amazing. Right, and I mean, you, you look at it, you know, it's got great physics system. Yeah. And it just feels smart. There's a lot of sort of science and political and cultural sort of references going on throughout the story to help sort of drive the narrative, sort of help bring you into their world and why yeah. things are kind of the way they are. Some and very controversial kind of uh, stuff going on in there as well. This is an amazing game. You probably is. already own it. This game takes place at the bottom of the ocean, but you do not need a life preserver to play this game. Just let yourself sink totally. into it. Congratulations to Ken Levine and his team, Bioshock. You are number nine in our list of the greatest video games of all times.